breaking the glass ceiling. 38-year-old Liang Jiangbo became the very first visually impaired graduate student enrolled by Tsinghua University, one of China's most prestigious. It wasn't an easy path. I've always wanted to pursue higher education, but back then choices were very few for us. I can only go to designated schools for visually impaired students. Liang was denied equal chances in education when he first graduated from high school. At that time, his options were limited. But things have changed over the years. The biggest change is our chances for equal education. Things are so different now that we're given equal rights and access to applying for regular universities. That means a change in our fate in choosing future careers. Eleven years after completing his undergraduate degree, Liang finally got the chance to enter graduate school at Tsinghua University. More than 37,000 visually impaired students like Liang are receiving compulsory education nationwide. Over 60 percent of them are children with poor vision attending regular schools, according to the Ministry of Education. This year, China has taken a landmark move to improve the situation for people with disabilities and others in need of barrier-free services. On September the 1st, China's first barrier-free environment construction law took effect. The law specifies the newly built, reconstructed or expanded buildings and transport facilities should have barrier-free access. The law on building barrier-free environments is the top-level design. What's more important is implementation and the technical details. We can see improvements in the hardware. We need to strengthen our efforts on building the software. Equality and inclusiveness, that's the two key words I heard most during my interview with my guest. The new law laid a solid legal foundation to create a barrier-free society for the elderly and the disabled. What's more important, they say, is the increasing awareness of the general public and the evolving mindset of people. In Beijing's Xicheng District, one of the oldest districts in the city, efforts are ongoing. Xicheng District has been focusing on key areas such as urban roads, public transportation, public service venues, and information exchange. Through improving the accessibility facilities within the service circles, we have installed elevators and climbing machines for old residential areas and carried out more than 20 professional and personalized services for the elderly and disabled. These are only part of China's efforts to improve the quality of life in 2023. The country enacted a range of new policies covering education, health care, gender equality, privacy and more. All aspects fundamental to human rights and dignity. While broad in scope, these new policies directly impact the daily lives of the country's most vulnerable groups. The new law provides a fundamental protection of our rights. I used to feel people were helping me out of charity, but now I feel we're all equal members of society. We're equally entitled to social resources like the rights to education and employment. For millions like Liao, the road ahead may be bumpy, but it definitely looks brighter. Oh, that's CGTN, Beijing.